This may be the fastest way to deploy a Python application online. And I'm talking about just clicking a few buttons fast. In this video, we are going to accomplish three different things. One, we want to make a new Vercel account. Two, we want to add our new fast API application to that Vercel account. Three, we want to deploy this application and we can do this entirely free i'm talking like 0.00 dollars .00 per month free and if i can promise one thing if you stick to the end of this video your app will be deployed live so let's dive in all right so i have an empty directory so the very first thing i'm going to do is create a new folder called api and now inside this folder let's go ahead and say new file we are going to name this main.py. Inside our main.py, we are going to say from fast API, import fast API, app equals fast API, and then we're going to have an empty endpoint that is more or less a health check for our application that says the health check is successful. Now, the next thing that we want to do is create a requirements.txt file. Inside here, the two requirements are FastAPI and Uvicorn. Now, these are the only two um, dependencies that we need for our FastAPI application because our application is pretty small. It just returns the health check is successful when it runs successfully. Now, the next thing that we need to add is a Vercel.json. So we can say Vercel dot json this is going to have all the requirements that we need for our environment to know how to build and create the routes that are needed so when we add in this new object that says builds that is a list of a single object source is where our application starts and we know it starts in our api folder into our main.py file we are going to be using the latest version of python which by default, Vercel uses the latest version. So if you're using a different version of Python, when you deploy this application, it will go to the newest version of Python. Now for the routes, the source, this is more or less a wildcard that will allow us to consume different endpoints. And then destination is again inside our API folder, our main.py file. Now, once you add these three things, you need to go to the Vercel.com and create your free account. Once you create your free account, your starting screen will look something like this, where you're going to have your projects, which I am under hobby and hobby is the free tier. Um, and as you can see, we don't have any projects currently running. So once you create this, go ahead and go back into your IDE where we need to install the latest CLI from Vercel. Now, Node Package Manager is part of Node, so you need to go ahead and install Node on your machine if you haven't already. And I will leave a link below to the Node website so you can download um, everything you need to be able to run this command. What we're gonna be doing is an NPMI, I stands for install, dash G, which is global Vercel. This will install the CLI for us. After you install Vercel, you need to log into your account. After you log into your account through your CLI, so when I say log into your account, you gotta log in through your Vercel CLI. After you do that, all you have to do is Vercel dot, and that's it. It's gonna say it's gonna create a deployment for us for our Vercel Fast API. We wanna say yes. Where do we wanna deploy it? We wanna deploy it under, mine's called EJ Roby's project, which is the hobby free tier. Link to existing project, no. What's your project's name? I'm just gonna use Vercel Fast API. That's the default name of your project. And in which directory does your code live or is located? Just the root folder. So I'm gonna press enter right there. After doing this, we can see that is going to start building our project. And then once it's built, go into our projects. If we refresh the screen, we can see our new Vercel Fast API. But now if we go in it and we say open up in a new tab and we want to visit it, we can see our application is down. And this is a current bug that's happening right now in Vercel. So hopefully you don't have to deal with this. But if you do, all you have to do is go back into your application, 
go into settings, scroll down until you can see Node.js version, change this to 18x, click save. And now what you need to do is go back into your application and redeploy. And to redeploy, all you got to do is Vercel dot because we already set up all the um, information ahead of time. So now it's going to build, it's going to deploy. And now if we go back into our application, I'm going to close out of that tab. I'm going to go back into our deployment. So this deployment is still broken. We need to go back into our application and we want to open up our last deployment, which was just 30 seconds ago. And let's go ahead and open up the one that just deployed. Not our last, not the, not the first one. They're both going to be live. So make sure you open up the last one. If we click visit, it's going to authenticate and we can see that our application is live. The health check is successful. And there you have it. We have our application able to be seen and we have it deployed on Vercel. Super fast, super easy. And if you want to learn more about Fast API, go ahead and check out this video somewhere and I'll see you in the next.